Hello there, this is Will from Stacks for Stacks and today I'm going to talk about the Video Player stack. Video Player is absolutely ideal if you want to get your own self-hosted HTML5 video embedded within your Rapid Weaver website. Um, it's particularly good if you just want something very simple to set up from within Rapid Weaver, but equally so you want a very attractive player interface for your website visitors to see. And you can see on the page in front of me, I'm using the free bootstrap Rapid Weaver theme today. And I've got my video embedded within the page here in the middle. Video player is fully responsive. It will scale to fit any screen size. It's compatible with a wide range of different web browsers, including Internet Explorer, Edge, Safari, Firefox, Opera, all those. And if you're viewing your video using an Android tablet or smartphone, you also have the option to click on a Chromecast button and add the video to a playlist on your smart TV. So if, for example, you've got a smart TV in your living room, you can click on the Chromecast button and view this video actually on your living room TV at full screen, you know, HD and all the rest. So it's a very modern HTML5 video player for your website. And it's also quite simple to get set up with quite a number of customizable options. So I'll switch across into Rapid Weaver. So as per normal, you want to add a Stacks page to your project first. This stack requires Stacks 3 or later. You want to open the library and drag and drop a video player stack into your page. Once you've got video player into the page, you'll see the settings for it in the Stack Info panel on the right hand side here. We've got two main groups of settings. We've got basic video settings and we've got settings for the controls. You want to begin by setting up things like your poster image and the actual links for the MP4 and the WebM video files. If you want to adjust the default volume that the video plays at, and that can be done here on the right hand side. We've also got options to preload the video, loop the video, or pause the video if you click anywhere outside of it. And just with those basic default settings applied, you can see we've already got a very attractive video player which our users can interact with on the page. You've got the option to toggle custom controls on and off. By default, custom controls are enabled, but if you were to disable custom controls, you can see that we just use the browser default media controls, which may appeal to some users, but probably not the majority of us. Um, it's nice to have a bit more custom control over these controls, and also to ensure that the controls are consistent in appearance across all major web browsers. So most of the time, we probably want to leave this turned on. The big play button, um, that refers to the, the white button you see in the middle of the video here. And we've also got options to toggle all the other controls on and off as required. The animation effect, that's purely for the animation of the video player control. By default, it will slide and fade in, but we can set it to always be displayed on the video. Alternatively, we can choose one of these other sort of more fanciful effects, like we can have a zoom in effect. Um, or we can have it expanding in when you mouse over, like so. Um, if we have it always displayed, then what you can do is you can adjust the margin of the control bar. So by 10 pixels of margin, for example. Um, we could also apply rounded corners if we wanted to. So we could say 20 pixels of rounded corners, for example. And we can also adjust the opacity of the background. So if you wanted to, you could turn this off altogether and create a rather nice of chromeless style video player. And you know, again, you can combine that with the animation effects. You can just have the controls slide in like so, only when the, the video has got focus. For now, I will just uh, set this back to the, uh, the defaults. And of course, you can also come down here and change many of the other color settings too. Um, so you can actually style the video player to match your existing Rapid Weaver theme or, or your corporate branding. And this is quite important for a lot of people. Um, an issue with some video players is that you have to use preset skins or templates. It doesn't give much flexibility to adjust the actual style of your video player. So being able to customize the colors is a nice feature. We can also change the size of the button controls. Now by default, I, I always like to try and aim to have 
controls of about 50 pixels or more because on touchscreen devices it just makes it a lot easier for people to click and tap controls but certainly you know if you wanted to have them smaller you can just change the dimension setting here and you can see that reduces the size of the video controls or we could go extra large with something like 100 pixels if you wanted to and yeah so you get the general idea of how this works it's uh, it's quite easy to come in here and to uh, customize things how you want once your video is published on the website then of course it's very easy for people to click and to view it as i've said already it's compatible with a lot of different web browsers and it's fully responsive too so please feel free to download the demo version of video player so that will let you install the stack onto your computer you can have a play around all the settings as I've just done here and see what this stack can do. Should you have any further questions then of course you can contact me and also if you're using a previous version of video player then your update to version 2 is completely free of charge and you simply have to get in contact with me via the website. So that's all for today and I look forward to chatting with you again soon.